Hi, I'm Lucas Cameron. I want to welcome you to Off Grid Contracting. And today I'm with my friend Tony Jones, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the wind turbine project that they got going on with Hurricane Wind Power Event. Real quickly, I just want to show you this, and then we're going to take a step by step through um, the build process. Um, this right here is 27 270 watt solar panels sold by Hurricane Wind Power. Installed. We've got uh, two magnum inverters, large battery bank. I'll take you all through that. But before I go into that detail, I'll let Tony tell you about the wind turbine project coming up in a future video. Okay, again, I'm Tony from Hurricane Wind Power, and um, we have a 1,000 watt continuous rated 1.5 um, uh, maximum output wind turbine that will be pairing up with this uh, system that. take the tour we'll walk around here a minute and uh, you know, a real nice base has been poured um, to put this thing up on a monopole and I think you'll get to see you know this is a very good spot for a wind turbine it will be going in on MPPT and hopefully we'll get to show you guys some really nice outputs and highlight the capability of some of our products. With that said, guys, let's take a look at the wind turbine mail, and then we'll start this solar install. Okay, here we have the turbine base that will be doing a tilt-down tower, and, um, you know, out here already, you can probably even uh, hear the wind on a calm day. Okay guys, welcome to uh, day two of the build. Um, day one I was just too busy to really sit down and film. Um, so kind of bring you up to speed where we're at. We've got, this is Iron Ridge racking um, that we're cutting down. Now we're custom fabricating everything uh, for the customer because they're wanting a very, very unique um, solar install done. And we're always up to the challenge. So anyway, we got 27 panel units. Uh, just got done uh, trenching, um, as you saw earlier. And um, what, what we're going to do today, um, once we get the conduit and the wire um, in its appropriate place, that probably won't go down today. Um, that'll probably be day three or four. Uh, what we're going to really accomplish today is getting all these pipes cut off um, to the appropriate height. And then what we're going to do now after that is put the caps on it for the iron ridge run the rails and then put the clamps per and the panels and then put the spacers between get the offset needed there and then tony is doing the wind turbine install i'm actually um, not going to be involved much in that um, i'm kind of just going to focus on the solar on this one since we partnered up for this install but uh, right here the guys are going to clean that out today I done trenched them a trench so that they'd have, um, uh, we could just run the wind turbine wire down the center trench. And once we get over to the side of the structure, I'm going to come in the block wall there and then we'll actually get into um, the inside of it in depth. But if, for right now, 
um, in the next part here I'll show you how that we put those caps on and then uh, mount that rail across through there and start clamping the solar panels. Alright guys, so we're at the point in the build now that the turbine hole out here um, is ready for the foundation to be poured. The trench work to it uh, has been completely cleaned out so that our PV cables that we're doing and Tony's wire can all go neatly down into there. Now, this right here is going to be the angle on which these panels are set. Um, yes, I am borrowing a paint bucket for just a moment to get this on to uh, line because I'm going to get it level. Then from there, we can just zip bolt these down. Um, if you want to take a look at the back of this iron ridge rack, how this is all going down, is you've got these top caps right here, and then they've got a groove cut in it for the poles. Now, what's going down is that pipe is going down through here, and then you bolt it in. Now, usually, we would have these panels overhang way over the pipe when we're doing mounts like this, like we've done in the past. We've done a lot of dual swivel stuff. Um, but anyway, the customer wanted the pylons to be um, as far distance out through there as they could. So uh, the way that that worked out mathematically with the layout on the panels, um, what's going to happen is that will be cut off uh, to just have a one-inch overhang. And then that will be tucked behind that the best we can. But usually we have these tucked under there. That's just the customer desired it that way. Um, this Iron Ridge rack is clamped like so. The drops will be every three panels we're going to have a drop. Um, and you'll see that um, probably tomorrow. I'll show you in the next segment on that. Um, that's probably where we'll pick up. But as that continues out through there, then that'll finish out like so. This will be graveled over. Um, once this is finished, this will be a complete graveled walkthrough work area. Uh, believe it or not, as tightly as these are sandwiched together, yes, the light still hits them good. Um, and out through there, the turbine, thankfully, uh, the way that that's gonna be oriented is that will never cast a shadow on the solar array either. So guys, that's it for this section, and uh, I'll pick up with you tomorrow. Okay guys, so we're back on day three. Um, it rained us out partially yesterday, so what we got accomplished is um, obviously the trench work and everything's all good to go at this point. Um, went back through and cleaned that out. Uh, the form is in place for the wind turbine. The customer is handling that. Um, that that's outside of our realm on this job. We're just handling the solar. Um, so anyway, at this point where we're at with the solar installs, we've got the first row almost knocked out. Um, about another 30, 40 minutes, I'll have this front bolted up. And uh, as you can see right here, here's the Iron Ridge um, racking. And we've cut that, um, got that ready to go. That's you bolting up to this. And if you want to look from the side right here, you can see how that that's twerking down. And we've got our trenches cut over for the wire drops to come up and stub up. That'll be the last thing we do. Um, it's the interconnections and everything. Um, we repurpose mid clamps as instead of using it in the rail, we actually repurpose them between the panels uh, for an extra good tension. So, kind of a multi purpose thing with those. And that, that's got these really rock solid firm out through there um, because we are on top of a mountain. As I mean, you really just don't get much higher up in the air on a mountain than this um, in rural America. So, <laughs> in the middle of a city. So anyway, this is where we're at right now. We're going to finish up this row, get the other one set in place today. It'll probably be sundown on us, and then we're going to start doing some wiring on the wall, and I may show you some of that here in a little bit. All right, guys, now where we're at with the build right now is we've got the first row completely installed. We're going to get the second one up here shortly. And before we do that, though, we're getting this last run of pipe in and clamping them down on the caps. And you can kind of see it as step by step as it goes. Set the cap, torque that, then set some pipe, sleeve that up into it, torque it down, and then lastly clamp it. And at that point, then you can start putting the actual pieces of the racking in place. So we'll get this done, we'll get this racked up, and the next segment is we're gonna pick up here in a couple days, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back in a couple days and you'll see the wire connected um, through the dropouts and then the trenching covered, and then we're actually gonna start the inside segment at that point. Now, something that I would like to share with um, potential future customers and uh, with those that just follow the channel 
um, and off-grid contracting and the work that we do. Um, I do take pride in what we build, and my wife does as well. Uh, you know, it's me and her out here making this happen all the time. And this is an example right here, is if you can look right there very closely. Let me get this adjusted out. We're almost exactly right in the money there. Uh, just a little bit more adjustment here. And we do take the time uh, to make sure things are done right. And uh, one other little note right here is, I mean, I, I did this without a laser. So, I mean, just to go to show you old school line and stuff up, I mean, it don't get much better than that. It, I'm sorry, I just can't can't get much further uh, to the uh, money shot than that. So anyway, uh, we're about to finish up these panels here, but I just wanted to share that um, because I think people think that this job, you did, when you go to doing off-grid work for people, it's just bolt some junk down and going about your business. There's a lot that goes into it aside from just wiring. You got to make sure that things are mounted right, angles are right, and it just don't happen overnight. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to get back to work. Okay guys, now at this point in the build, we're finishing up the last that we're gonna do outside. Uh, we've got the wind turbine cables coming in uh, for them. I ran that so that they could have that um, on in through and then we let that pass by. We've got, uh, we're working on getting our equipment uh, to the breakers in their appropriate area, uh, getting all this buttoned up, get the cover back on this. I'll show you this here shortly um, and then we'll move to the interior. All right, guys, now we've got everything wired up in the PV12 combiner box and um, got our breakers in and marked um, appropriately for the customer. Each solar uh, module is marked out. Um, so if they ever do need to maintenance any of the solar panels for any reason, something happens, hail storm, anything ever damages them, um, easily maintenanceable and replaceable because everything's numbered and lettered and you can easily go out there to the sequence of panels and uh, do any repairs or maintenance. So with that said, uh, we're going to close this up and go inside and take a look at the wall. Now at this point in the bill what we have is we have all our wires coming in. The utility access area, this is for the wind power that's going to go up to a separate panel. We'll show you that shortly hereafter because we're waiting on ports. These are the two solar feeds coming over. Um, done in the two separate charge controllers. We've got some midnights up here. Um, this one we're about to finish up wiring. This one here shortly after we get the rest of the utility conduit. We're going to be coming out of a disconnect box down here for the solar around to our battery bank that is also being wired up right now. So we'll show you that here in just a little bit. Guys, this right here is an example of the um, synthesis panels um, by Hurricane Wind Power. This right here. Uh, it's just a nominal output in the middle of an evening t uh, at evening time. This is right now 212 on the winter solstice. Um, getting phenomenal power out of those panels and that's just one of the controllers uh, within um, that's tandem. And right here, uh, as you can see from earlier when we were wiring this uh, that I was showing you, this is the breaker box, that's the MN quad box. Uh, we actually come out of that with the utility feeds. Um, right there's where we're going to junction in uh, with Tony's uh, wind turbine project um, at a later date. And that was a conduit that we had fed through there. Uh, the panel, when you see that in the future video, that panel will be right here with the dump load and everything. And we'll redress that at that point in time. But that, that drop for the batteries will come over to here. Now this is the battery bank. These are VMAX solar batteries, um, 125 amp hour batteries. We've got the Magnum temperature hooked to that. Uh, we've got the temperature sensors for the charge controllers hooked to them as well. Um, these are paralleled banks and then paralleled shelves. So everything um, is, is 48 volt and then paralleled. Um, there is a couple modifications to this system. 
um, another breaker is going in line. Um, here is the AC wiring. Um, they just got with the uh, inspection, so the plates aren't on that right now, but um, got that all checked off, um, figured out and everything. Uh, one quick thing I want to show you guys is this is the Magnum RTR uh, meter. We still got to tuck some wires and things out of the way. Um, it's a really nice meter. Oh, there's so much you can do with your Magnum. It's insane. Um, what we've got going on right now is this, uh, these Magnums are running a uh, water heater in parallel. And so what, what's going on when you have those ran um, in parallel, you've got the master unit. Um, and then over here is the slave unit. So what happens is the way that this is set at a 60 percentile use on the master, um, the slave unit will kick in and engage and help bolster that load, which uh, substantially will increase the life of your magnums. And uh, I, I gotta say the AC that was done here, uh, those, those guys done a professional job too. Very, very nicely done. That goes on into the customer's uh, utility access, which that for privacy, we're not going in there. Um, we were just going to cover what's out here and what we've done as far as the world of DC. Um, this right here, thinking that we're going to wire loom that because um, that's just just uh, some networking cable there for the temp sense. But overall, um, very enjoyable install. Definitely, uh, definitely a signature install for hurricane wind power and off-grid contracting. Guys, this is that amazing view. Uh, that Tony was talking about and as you can see it's amazing amazing beautiful Tony I greatly appreciate partnering up with me on this it's been uh, probably the best install we've done to date pleasure's all mine and uh, you know it takes a lot to plan these things out and it is If you're interested in going off grid, if this is not obvious that we can get the job done, I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, make sure to check out HurricaneWindPower.com if you want materials. They've got all sorts of materials to help you go off grid. If you want construction done, make sure to contact us at OffGridContracting.com. And lastly, I want to thank our customers for letting us share these uh, builds with you because if they didn't allow us to do this, I mean, we can tell you stories, but you know what they say, seeing it's believing, right, Tony? Right, <laughs> and I just want to give my man here one, one plug. I don't know if you guys can't tell by uh, looking what's obvious, you know. Uh, everything isn't finalized with what you've seen, but I'm really impressed with the level of professionalism, the way everything's done to code on this install, and, you know, the level of knowledge and growth that I've seen with Lucas over the past year in, in the body of knowledge that, that he possesses. So, I mean, you know, not patronizing the man, but it does good work. So, I appreciate it. Guys, make sure to check out Phase 2, because now I'm going to be back up here helping Tony. Thank you, Wind Turbine. So, we'll see you then.